Packing up and shipping out, thousands of migrants are being moved on from the small island of Lampedusa. Since the beginning of this year, as North Africa remains in turmoil, thousands of people, mainly Tunisians, have been arriving here, with each boatload growing concerns about what will happen next. Lampedusa's holding centre has been filled several times over, with migrants outnumbering the local residents. The official handling of the crisis has led to dissatisfaction in both communities. We are sleeping here on the ground. There are no toilets. There is nothing to cover ourselves with. We sleep on cardboard. We can't wash ourselves. We don't have anything good to eat. The food is not good. The pasta in the evening is not good. It's very tough here. Going to Rome or Sicily will be better. I was personally in favour of this government, but after what's happened in Lampedusa, all of the politicians have demonstrated that they are not on top of it. The people of Lampedusa have shown they are on top of the situation. The Italian government has not. Enter Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi, who visited the island on Wednesday, armed with a promise. Contiamo che le operazioni di imbarco possano prendere due giorni. Taking into account that the embarking operations can take up to two and a half days, we can say that in about 48 to 60 hours, Lampedusa will be inhabited solely by Lampedusans. Those migrants already on Lampedusa will be taken to holding centres elsewhere in Italy. Tunisian authorities have apparently agreed to tighter controls at the borders and some migrants could be repatriated upon arrival in Italy. Food for thought for those planning to embark on the dangerous journey to Europe. For the people of Lampedusa, a word of thanks from their leader. This island has had to face the negative consequences deriving from this situation and therefore at the next meeting of ministers the government will put Lampedusa forward for the Nobel Peace Prize. It's hit the right note with some residents at least. The great Silvio, he's the only one who can come and save us. And for the thousands of migrants who made the island their temporary home comes the next stage of their journey to what they hope will eventually be a better life. Geraldine Cooper, Sky News.